Hi guys, my name is Francois and I am a developer at Eden AI. Today, I propose you to discover how to integrate a sentiment analysis API in a JavaScript project. This little project will be a chat in which only positive messages will be accepted. To do this, it will be necessary to check before sending each message if the sentiment detected is positive enough. Our app uh, will be very simple. It's an application made in Vue.js for the purpose of this video, everything will be done on the client side. Obviously, this kind of verification must be done on the backend in order to not expose your API keys. This app is a message sending system in which the user will be able to enter a message in the form and send it. We want to check if the message entered by the user is positive so that it can be sent in the chat. We can see in the code that it's the send message function that will be triggered when the user will click on the button. It is in this function that we will want to integrate our sentiment analysis logic. We will first go to the Eden AI platform in order to get our API key that we will copy right here and that we are going to paste in a small environment file that I have already created beforehand. Now we will be able to store it in a variable that we will call API key. OK. We will be able to see more closely what the API of sentiment analysis looks like by going on the text part then in sentiment analysis. In the quick start part you can see code snippets for both Python and JavaScript. And if we take a closer look at the code, we can see that the Sentiment Analysis API needs a language parameter. Here, we don't necessarily want the user to enter this parameter on our interface. So we can add a small intermediate step to our process by adding language detection, which can be found in the translation part and then in the language detection. We can create our first function that we will call simply language detection. And we can now get the little code snippet in JavaScript and paste it directly. We won't need to import Axios. We'll do it a little higher once. And now we can also add on the authorization header uh, our little token from the env file. We can see that Eden AI gives us the choice between several providers for sentiment analysis. We can imagine here that after different tests, we would have realized that it's Google which is the most relevant for our data. The benefit here is that you just need to change the value of the provider parameter to change the provider. As for the text we are going to analyze, it is the message entered by the user that corresponds to entryMessage.content. In order to be able to handle our response efficiently, we will go to the documentation of the language detection API and look at how the response is presented. We can see that the answer is an object with several attributes corresponding to each provider. For each of them, we will have an item array in which we will have for each detected language a confidence rate. Here we want to get the language to be able to send it to the sentiment analysis API. Here I have a small personal preference for the async await syntax rather than using .zen. I will only return axios.request, which is a promise that we will process in our send message function. Then I create a variable that will be called language response, in which we will store the result of our language detection. We just want to get the value of the language returned by Google.
We will get the attribute Google, then we will go to recover the first element of the items, which corresponds to the language with the highest rate of confidence, and finally to recover the value of language. Great. Now we check that everything works by printing language. Basically, when the user enters the message, the console will show the value of the detected language. We have French for bonjour and English for hello. Perfect. We can now send this language directly as a parameter to our second function that we will create, sentiment analysis. Let's take a closer look at the Sentiment Analysis API. We get once again the small snippet in JavaScript. We passed it in our function. And we will simply add our API key and take a look at the parameters. As before, we consider that Microsoft shoot us. The text we want to analyze is the user's message and the language corresponds to the result of language detection that we passed as a parameter. We return the actual request promise once again. Let's take a look at what the sentiment analysis response looks like on the documentation. Like language detection, we'll have for each provider an items array containing each time the sentiment and the associated sentiment rate. For this application, we will only be interested in the positive sentiment. Some providers will return a neutral or negative sentiment value. We can store in an asynchronous array the response of sentiment analysis in a variable sentiment response, uh, which is an await of sentiment analysis. The score we will obtain will be stored in our entry message object on its score attribute, which is by default null. If this value is sufficient, we will add this message to the message list, which corresponds to the list of messages displayed on the interface. Let's go entry message dot score is equal to our sentiment response dot data dot microsoft dot items we are going to search in this items the object which concerns the positive sentiment and recover this sentiment rate let's use the find method with an x that represents each of the sentiments and we will only want the x that have a positive sentiment To check that all this works, we can console.log this score. So console.log of entry message dot score. Let's go back to the application. We are going to write a small message, for example, in French, je suis content, which is translated by I'm happy in English. We can see in the console that we have a score of one. Let's try now with a negative message. Je suis en colère, which means I'm angry in English. And we have now a score of 0 0.01. Great. So we get our score, which will be stored in our 
entrymessage.co. What we want to do is to add our message to the list of messages if its score is higher than a certain value. We will store this value in a variable called minimum rate that we will instantiate at 0 0.6. We want this line of code to run only when a certain condition is verified. This is an opportunity to use computed properties, which are methods that will only be triggered when the value of a reactive object changes. We will call this property is positive. This computed property will return true in case the score is higher than the minimum rate. Otherwise, it will return false. Don't forget to import computed from view. Fine. We can now add to our send message function the isPositive condition. We will add our message to the list of messages only if isPositive is true. If it's not the case, we will simply return and end the logic here. The rest of the function will not change it simply scrolls automatically down the page when a message is sent. OK, it's time. We will check that everything works. First, we will close the console and write a positive message. Je suis content. Perfect. The message appears in the chat. Let's try with the negative message. Je suis en colère. The message is not sent. The content of entryMessage.content is reset only when isPositive is true. So the negative message does not disappear from the form. Finally, we will still give a visual feedback to the user indicating when his message does not meet the conditions with the score he obtained. We will create a small paragraph which will appear only if is positive is false. Thanks to a VIF, we will indicate our condition. The reverse of if positive. And also if the score of the entry message is different from null. because it is null by default. The user will see the following message. Your message is not kind enough. And we can also display the score of the message. Entry message dot score. Fine, let's check if our message is displayed. Go back to the application and type a positive message. Now we can try with a negative one. We can see our alert that is displayed with its score, which is very insufficient. The user will have to find a nicer message Thanks to language detection, we can also try with other languages. For example, with I'm happy, which is sent, and I hate you, which is blocked. Perfect. The verification seems to work well. Whatever the language used, language detection will indicate the right language to provide to the sentiment analysis API, which will then estimate if the message is positive or not.
We discovered together through this funny application how to quickly and easily integrate two APIs of Eden AI, sentiment analysis and language detection. You can find the GitHub link of the project in the description. Thanks for watching and see you later.